Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to do a quick video today. i uh, been having one of those weeks where, well, the last couple of days anyway, not all the weeks been bad, but uh, just having the last couple of days, you know, <laughs> nothing's been going my way. I've been having a couple of issues at work. Uh, there was an issue that we're still trying to get resolved. Uh, just everything at the house is driving me up the wall, so uh, I figured I'd take a step back, relax, and uh, try and make a video today. But uh, I wanted to talk about this uh, corn cob here. Y'all have seen it in a couple other videos, but it's the General by Missouri Meerschaum. And uh, whenever I bought this thing, it was kind of a novelty, you know, item. I saw it, I wanted it, you know, it's this great big old huge corn cob, a uh, huge bowl on it. So, I bought this thing up, you know, pretty much just to have it up on my shelf there. But, the more I smoke this thing, the more I <laughs> really, really, really like it. Just about any kind of tobacco you throw in it burns great. Uh, whenever I first got it, I thought I was going to have some issues, you know, if it went out, how are you going to relight it because the bowl is so deep. But, uh, I haven't had that issue yet. Once you get it lit and get it going, it burns all the way down. No problem. Uh, excuse me. Haven't ever had to relight it. But I really, really like this thing. Uh, something I do want to replace is this stem here. I want to get one of those forever stems from, uh, I think it's Walker Briar Works. I think it's the site. I think Old Log Cabins did them originally, but they uh, gave them back to the original people who were doing it. I found those online the other day while I was looking for replacement stems for this. Ah, excuse me, got bugs getting at me again. But, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna go with one of those. I think it'd look really nice. Uh, maybe like a orangish acrylic, or a orangish marble, or an amber marble. I think it'd go really nice with this, especially, you know, after this starts to darken up a bit, after a little bit of use. So, really like that. But today, what I'm smoking on is uh, this. It's uh, a Marcelago, I think is what it's called. Marcelago? Marcelago? I think it's Marcelago. I don't know. But I saw this yesterday at the tobacco store while I was there. And I uh, thought the bat was pretty cool, so I got it. And according to the guy there, it's a very popular cigar locally. Uh, he says they just fly right out of the humidor. So I figured, now oh, why not? I'm kind of been wanting a cigar so I'll give this one a try I gotta say it's pretty good you know I'm not a big cigar guy uh, Lord forbid my brother catch me with a cigar I'd never hear the end of it so he's a big cigar guy he's the one to talk to about all that but yeah I'm really enjoying this but while I was there excuse me just a second Mm. my beverage today is just good old fashioned sweet tea but uh, while I was there I went ahead and picked up the last bit of that Dunhill that he had set aside for me so uh, now that I've got that I think I'm going to put a pause on uh, trying to get stuff for the seller for now uh, i got another thing uh, we're working on that uh, I'll show you all here in a minute but uh, first I picked up uh, one tin of this uh, Dunhill ready rubbed uh, I'd like to find another tin of that because this is one I really wanted to try. So, uh, but for now, that's just going to go in the cellar. Uh, also got this My Mixture 965. That was another one I wanted to try. But uh, until I find another one, that one's going in the cellar. And then I got another tin of this EMP and a uh, another tin of the Dunhill Nightcap. So, but that's the last of the stuff that he had set aside for me uh, finally got that so we're done on the cellar and for now but the last thing I wanted to share today was this and uh, started on this yesterday what it is is a uh, prototype for a blend uh, that I had an idea for uh, we've been working on it it's uh, definitely a Virginia based uh, blend. I love Virginia tobaccos, uh, vapors. But uh, what I was looking for in this blend is uh, 
something kind of between Dorchester and Howl of the Wind. Now, how I originally envisioned it is if you took a tin of Dorchester and took straight Dark Tire Kentucky, crumbled that up, and threw it in there. That was kind of, you know, how this thing got started, and we're actually on the second prototype now. I had to swing back by there today because they're just... It didn't quite have enough dark fire Kentucky, so we added a little bit more. And uh, there's this other dark fire that he's going to order, and he's have it here next week, I think, is what he said. You know that we're going to add to it and see if that helps. But it's really good so far. It just didn't quite have that dark fired to it. But, uh, thinking about calling this long haul, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working on right now. It's my uh, first attempt at trying to come up with a blend uh, I've been doing a little bit of reading and stuff on blending uh, aging tobacco cellaring that kind of stuff and uh, it's just one of those things that uh, interests me I'd like to have a few of my own blends that I came up with myself well I didn't come up with it all myself <laughs> you know the guy down there at the tobacco store helped me he's a really great guy uh, you know, you go in there, you have any questions, you know, he'll, you know, get them answered for you. He's very knowledgeable. And maybe one of these days I can talk him into, you know, giving us a tour of his shop, see if he'll be willing to do that. I'm sure he would. <laughs> so. But, yeah, the guy's a genius whenever it comes to blends. At least I think so. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the one we started on yesterday. Like I said, we went back and kind of tweaked it a little bit today see if that helps uh, I'll smoke it out of a whole bunch of different pipes uh, it's well on its way we hit fairly close to the mark the first time so I was surprised at actually how close it came out it was more on the Dorchester east side but uh, we're hoping to get more of that smokiness in there uh, somehow mm. this is a good cigar now, there's usually only one other one that I'd, you know, smoke all the time. Or smoke whenever I do smoke, and that's uh, the New World. And, uh, like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable on cigars or whatever, but I guess it's a Maduro. The one that has the darker wrapper like this, it's an A.J. Fernandez cigar. That's usually the one I uh, go to. Last time it was a uh, Enclave that I tried. And that one was pretty good, but I think I like the New World better. And then uh, this one. I don't know, I still think I like the New World better, but this is a decent cigar. Maybe one of these years I'll get around to getting a cigar collection going as well, get a humidor or something. I don't know, I just ain't really that into cigars to invest that kind of time or money or anything like that. But, anyway, I'll go ahead and get on off here. I just wanted to, you know, share... You know what I thought about the cob, and let y'all know I think I'm going to put a pause on the cellaring for the moment, at least on the tins. I think, you know, I'll still be doing bulk and just jar it up myself. So, but as far as that goes, I'm kind of done with the tins for now and took my first step into, you know, trying to blend something up on my own. But anyway, we'll get off there. <clears throat> Excuse me, get on off here, and uh, we'll talk at you guys later. Have a great day.